Hello there, my name is Veena Prashant. I'm the co-founder of DigitalAccessPass.com. I'm also the host of DAP's official podcast, DAPcast.com. Today, I'm super excited to introduce to you DAP version 6.0. So in this release, we have completely revamped the DAP products page interface. So this is the new uh, DAP products page, which you can access from your DAP admin dashboard, products uh, manage page. So first, I'll show you all the problems that we had with the old interface, and then I'll show you how we have addressed each one of those issues in this new interface. So this is the old app products interface and uh, this interface is not mobile responsive and uh, there is no search feature here. So if you have several products, it's not easy to find a product. Uh, you have to scroll down the list to find your product because we didn't have a search option here. Also, there are several fields here and these fields are not really required to create a product. However, because they are there in the general tab, it used to cause some confusion as people used to get stuck while creating a new product as uh, they were not sure what to fill for each one of these fields. And uh, what we have done in the new release is we have moved some of these fields off to an advanced tab, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Now the pricing tab. There are no issues with this, everything works. However, based on the questions that we get in the support tickets, uh, where we see that people are a little bit confused about how to fill each one of these fields, uh, we have made it a lot more intuitive in the new release. Now notifications tab, this is the old interface. Uh, here you can set up the welcome email, double opt-in email, and also integration with third-party systems using the plugin notification field. And uh, everything works here as well. However, uh, we have just made it a lot more easier to understand and use uh, the notifications. And also we have added a new HTML editor that will allow you to create and send out HTML emails a lot more easily. And again, I'm showing you the old interface first because I want to show you the problems that we had uh, in the old interface and how we have addressed each one of these issues in the new interface. So now the content responder tab in the old version here, uh, there was no easy way to find content, available content, as well as protected content. And uh, if you have already protected a content under uh, multiple products, there was no easy way to find uh, all the products under which a content uh, was protected. So all of this stuff has changed in the new version and it'll be more clear to you when I show you the new version and all the new updates we have made uh, to the content responder tab. The autoresponder tab, we haven't changed much except the look and feel. The cancellation and expiration as well as generate sign up form tab. Uh, again, we have changed the look and feel of these tabs and also uh, the cancellation expiration tab will only show up for paid products and the generate sign up form uh, will show up only for free products uh, in the new version. We have also removed the Generate By Buttons tab and we have added a new Advanced tab uh, where we have moved some of the settings from the General tab uh, to that Advanced tab. So now let me show you all the updates that we have made to the DAP Products interface in 6.0. Now welcome to DAP 6.0. So this is the new DAP Products interface. Everything is mobile responsive. That was one of the issues we had with the old version. And uh, we have also added a search option here. So say that you're looking for a product. So just start typing in. And as you start typing in, uh, you will see that only the right products will show up here based on the letters that you have typed in here. So it's very easy to find products going forward uh, in this new version. You will also notice that we have removed some of the fields from here and we have moved them to the advanced tab because those fields are not required to create a product and you can set them up at global level in the DAP Setup Config page. So it's not required to uh, set those fields up to create a new product. So that's why we removed it from the basic details and we have moved them to the advanced tab now. Also, it's easy to upload an image now for your product by clicking on choose file. You can select a file, an image file from your desktop and upload them to your server. That way you don't have to enter the URL here like you had to before. So you can just select the file from your desktop and upload it that way. Now another thing we have done here is we have added a view product summary link. So if you click on it, it's going to open up a pop-up and it will show you the entire product summary. So you don't have to go through each tab if you already have an existing product and you want to just check your product details at a glance quickly, then you don't have to go through each tab. You can just click on view product summary and it will show you the product summary right here. Now we have made several changes to the pricing tab. So let me show you what has changed here. So now it's going to be a lot more easier to create different types of products because we have reorganized things here. So say that you want to create a free product. So select the product type as free and then access duration. How many days of access do you want to give users that sign up to your free product? So you can select fixed or you can say forever. So if you want them to have forever access uh, to the free product once they sign up, then set it to forever. If you want them to have limited time access, set it to fixed and then enter the duration here. If you want to give them 
one year access for example then set it to 365 now say that you want to create a paid product then just select this checkbox uh, paid and then payment type so do you want the users to be billed one time or do you want them to be billed on a recurring basis so if it's a recurring subscription set it to recurring if it is just a one-time fee then set it to one time so say that it's a one-time product then set the product price how much do you want to charge the user so say that you want to charge them ten dollars uh, and then access duration how many days of access should they receive after they purchase your product fixed or forever so again you can select fixed and you can enter the duration here and you will find a summary of the billing right here so your users will be charged dollar 10 and given 365 days of access after payment now say that you want to create a recurring subscription product or offer a payment plan then select recurring as the payment type and then you will find the different settings here so say that you want to offer a trial select uh, yes here and then the trial amount trial duration and the recurring amount and the recurring duration so if it's a monthly recurring product and you want to charge dollar seven for 14 days followed by dollar 20 on a monthly basis then this will be the setting and you will also find the billing terms right here so if you are not sure how this will work then you can look at the billing terms and uh, this way you can correct any mistakes you might have made uh, while filling up these fields also the total number of payments if it's a payment plan you can set it to fixed and you can enter the total number of payments and this excludes the trial payment so if you want a total of 13 payments 12 recurring and one trial payment then set this to uh, 12 which means total of 12 recurring payments and one trial so the trial is not included uh, in this setting now the notifications tab we have simplified some of the settings so now if you want to turn on or turn off double opt-in setting for a product uh, then just select yes or no so if you select yes then you can enter the subject and the body uh, for the double opt-in email and there is also an option to send html uh, email so if you want to send html email do not enter anything in the text just enter the html email here so you no longer have to use a html start tag uh, just enter your html email here and it will get sent that way now the welcome email so say that you want to send out a welcome email after your users make a purchase of your product then you can enter the subject here you can enter welcome email body here you can click on available merge tags to uh, get a list of all the personalization tags that you can use in your email and also if you want to send html email just enter it here and if you want to send html uh, message then do not enter anything in the welcome uh, email body uh, text field just enter it in the html uh, section now the plugin notification it allows you to connect app to third-party systems nothing has changed in this release however very soon we are going to be releasing a brand new automation engine for tap and when we do that you no longer have to manually create a long string here you will be able to use the automation engine to create different rules uh, to connect app to third-party systems or even do product chaining uh, using the automation engine so we are very excited about that and uh, more on that uh, in the coming weeks however for now continue to use plugin notification uh, just the way that you have always used it before now the content responder tab this is where you can protect and uh, drip your content so we have uh, made several changes here so one before there was no way to search available content but now you can type in whatever you're looking for so say that i'm looking for this so let me start typing in and you will see it will narrow down the search uh, based on the letters that you type in here and it will show you the content here and uh, we also have another feature here where you can select a post or a page and say is url protected and uh, basically click on list all products and it will show you all the products under which the resource is protected now just like the search feature for available content we also have a search for protected content so if you have a lot of content that you have protected and you're looking for a specific content just start typing in the letters and then it's going to narrow down the search uh, to just that content and if it is protected it's going to show up there and other than that we have just updated the look and feel of this page as well and uh, in future we are going to be making more updates to this which will allow you to reorder uh, the protected content uh, but uh, it's not there right now currently if you want to reorder you can just drag and drop the the pages like this and it's going to reorder based on that now the autoresponder tab we haven't made many changes here other than the look and feel of this page this is now mobile responsive like all the other tabs uh, moving on to the sign up form 
Now here we have added a link to the form builder so you don't have to use the sign up code that you get here. You can click on this to access the form builder and the form builder comes with several options that will allow you to customize the look and feel of your uh, free sign up form. Now right now it's showing the sign up form because this product is a free product. So you can see here the product type is set to free. If you change the product type to paid, you will see that it automatically changes to cancellation and expiration and the sign up form tab disappears. So if you click on that, it will allow you to set different expiration actions. So if you want users to lose access uh, to the product as soon as they cancel, then you can set it to remove from product. This way their access will be removed right away as soon as they lose access to the product. But if you don't want uh, DAP to take any action when somebody cancels, uh, then you don't really have to do anything because DAP uses a pay as you go model. What that means is as long as uh, the recurring payment keeps coming in, DAP will automatically extend access. And if the payment stops, access will no longer be extended. So the users that have canceled will automatically lose access uh, to the product. So you don't really have to do anything. However, if you want them to lose access right away, uh, when they cancel, then set this to remove from product. Now the advanced tab. And as I mentioned before, these fields, they were in the basic details tab and it used to cause confusion because you don't really need to fill out those fields uh, to create a product. These are advanced settings and basically these fields, if you have entered a value for say sales page URL, error page URL or post login URL in the DAP setup config page, which is the global setting, then DAP will automatically use that for all of the products. So you don't have to set it up at product level because um, other than the fact that it's not required for uh, every product, if a user has access to multiple products, DAP ignores these settings and uses the one that's in setup config page anyway. So to keep things simple, uh, you really don't have to set up these fields here, these three fields, the sales page, error page, and post login. You can set them up globally in the setup config page and it'll be used for all the products. Now the allow free sign up, you need to set this to yes for a free product, but otherwise by default it's set to no, you really don't need to change this. And uh, the product status by default it's set to active, you don't have to change this unless you want to deactivate uh, the product for some reason. And uh, the product type, unless it's a credit store product, you don't have to change this setting. So that's why we have moved these things to advanced tab because in uh, most of the cases you really don't have to do anything here. Also, we'll be adding a lot more documentation here. So we will be adding a documentation tab after the advanced tab. So look out for that in future. Uh, and once we add the documentation tab, we will have different videos here uh, that you can refer. Uh, it will tell you exactly how to create a one-off product, how to create a free product, how to create different types of paid products and all that. So we are very excited about uh, where we are going with DAP. And this is just the beginning and we have many more things planned uh, in the coming weeks. We are going to be releasing the automation engine, as I mentioned. My name is Veena Prashant. I look forward to your comments and feedback. Uh, feel free to join my Facebook group and it's not for support, but if you have any generic questions about DAP or membership sites, you're welcome to ask me those questions in my group. Also be sure to subscribe to DAPcast, which is our official podcast for DAP. Uh, I share tips and strategies on how to get more out of your membership site and also I share latest news and updates uh, from the world of DAP and SBC which is our shopping cart platform and our other plugins. So let me know what you think of DAP 6.0 updates in the comments below. My name is Veena Prashant. Thanks for watching.